Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Iowa. We're currently in the city of Sioux City. We're going to be doing a driving tour of downtown Sioux City, Iowa. It's 48 degrees outside right now. Let's make this right on 11th Street. We just came off of Floyd Boulevard. We're about three minutes away from our desired start destination. On our left and on our right-hand side, we have residential homes. I see lawns. I see driveways. Some of them do not have driveways. The one on my right does. I see little front porches, open porches and closed porches, vinyl-sided homes. Some do not have a porch. On our left-hand side, we have Mama Lupita's. It looks like... Uh, sweets restaurant they got ice cream they got fruit bowls all types of it looks like spanish uh delicacies all right let's stop here we got a blinking light we're at court street i'm gonna move forward gentleman on my right wants to allow us to go i'll take that thank you very much sir all right so we're going to be making a left hand turn coming up in about two blocks we're passing Virginia Street. We're currently on 11th in Virginia. We got Iglesia Cristiana on our left. That looks like a school. Looks like it used to be a school, yo. Let me find out. A church bought that. What? They did. Jesus Cristo Salva Sana y Viene Pronto Ministerios. Sioux City, Iowa. That's incredible, yo. That looked like it was... Yo, somebody from Iowa, let me know if that was a school, especially if you're from this little town, Sioux City. Let me know if that was a school. That looks like it was a school, yo. And if that's the case, it used to be a public school. It got closed down, and then the church copped it, and they purchased it. Wow. That's incredible. That's the first time I've ever seen a church take a school building. Now, churches, especially Hispanic churches, are known to take over any building. <laughs> they turn anything into a church. All right, we're about two minutes away from our desired... Destination, we're at Jackson Street, 11th and Jackson. All right, guys, so first things first, let's clear out the giraffe that's in the room. There's a giant elephant in the room, right? And I have something to admit. I did not know how to say Sioux City. To me, it looks like Seox or like Sox. It's spelled S-I-O-U-X. So I didn't know how to say it, but Omi looked it up via Google Translate and also with the help of the radio. We were listening to the radio and a lot of the hard to pronounce Cities is easy just to listen to the radio because you hear the radio host say it the correct way. On our right, we got the Siouxland District Health. Normally, I would have probably said Sioxland or Soxland. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of those uh, words with silent letters, which sucks. You know how I feel about that. We got Siouxland Women's Health Care on our left. We just passed 10th. We're on 10th and Jackson. Iglesia Pentecoste, la Biblia abierta, meaning open. The Bible's open. I don't, I don't know how to say that with the accent. I don't know how to say it, man. <laughs> Passing ninth. We got some gentlemen on our right doing some landscaping work. I see Highway Patrol hidden on my left-hand side. At the Sioux Sales Company on our left, we're passing 8th Street. Look at Highway Patrol on my left-hand side. Sioux Sales Company. See those SUVs? Doesn't look like they're in it, so that's cool. All right, guys, we got a helicopter on our left-hand side, Mercy One Helicopter. On our right, we got a Child Advocacy Center. Wow, we're going down a, a, a steep uh, downhill. This is probably like a good 8% grade, 9% grade. Wow. Let's make this right-hand turn on 6th Street. Now, as you can see, we're facing downtown. So they do have some high-rise buildings. From afar, they did have a cluster of buildings which was a little refreshing to see considering the last few states that we came from. There was barely any high-rise buildings in any other states, at least for the small towns that we went through. You know, we had to skip a couple of the major cities just to save on fuel consumption. So those, you know, cities that we passed that we probably didn't cover a major city or the states we passed, we probably didn't cover a major city. In the future, you know, there's always room for exploration. It's, it's no rush to get it out the way this time around. All right, we're on Nebraska. We're currently driving up 6th Street. We just passed Nebraska. We got the Warrior Hotel on our right. Right now, we're in downtown Sioux City. So we're going to explore, see what it looks like, drive left, drive right, drive all around. I'm going to point out the obvious, or to some people, what might not be so obvious. 
We're passing Pierce. We got the library on our left hand side. Security National Bank on our right. We got an American flag on my left hand side on the pole. On our right hand side, it looks like we have a church, man. Oh no, that's City Hall. Oh, that's a nice looking City Hall. Yeah, that's a nice looking City Hall. We're passing Douglas Street, 6 and Douglas. Looks like we have the police fire headquarters building on our right, on our left, the federal building, United States Courthouse on our left hand side. It's windy. There is a wind breeze outside. We're passing Pearl Street. On our left, you got Guero or Ghetto. Authentic Mexican food. I would prefer to say Guero. We got police on our right hand side. Check it out. Five star award and more on our left. All right, let's take this about another block up and then make a left. The Department of Corrections on our left, guys. Wow. Let's merge left so we can make this left hand turn appropriately. Wow, look at that truck right there on my right hand side. That's some Iowa crazy looking monster truck type of G GTA. <laughs> that looks like some GTA stuff. Look how it's lifted. Oh, thanks for the picture, sir. Boom, I got you. Got you on candy cam. He's wearing a pink shirt, too. <laughs> Look at that. It got lime green rims. It got different color body panels. I, I like it. I actually like that. Look at that guitar that's up there on top of the Hard Rock Hotel Casino right there. They got Taqueria Bar El Gato Negro on our right-hand side, meaning the black cat. Mexican food, tortas, tacos, burritos, y mas, and more. Let's make this left-hand turn. We're now on Fish Street. On our right, we got the Hard Rock Casino of Sioux City. They got a really nice little hotel, little setup thing going on over here. We'll go down that block a little bit later on in the tour. Right now, let's continue traveling up fifth. We're passing Water Street, the 500 block of Water Street. Albrecht Cycle on our right. It looks like a bicycle business on our right. On our left, we got the Chatter Kick and Modern Furniture. You got Mod House and you got Plant Architect on our left. All right, let's stop here at Pearl. We're at Fifth and Pearl. On my right hand side, we got a staircase that looks like it goes up to a parking garage. Sioux City is in Northwest Iowa. The Sioux City Art Center showcases work by artists from the upper Midwest. Nearby Sioux City Public Museum has local history displays, including a hands-on replica of a fossil dig site. Play-based educational exhibits are the draw at the Launchpad Children's Museum. Set inside a dry dock towboat, the Sergeant Floyd River or Sergeant Floyd River Museum outlines the shipping history of the Missouri River. Yeah, we're right next to the Missouri River. We had to cross over the Missouri River where we were coming from Nebraska. Look on our left, check out that mirror. I'm gonna try to snap a picture. I got cars behind me, guys. Please bear with me, please bear with me. Look, it. it's a buffalo. Nice picture, got it. <laughs> I got that picture. I get excited when I get a good picture. <laughs> Cause I don't always get a good picture. We're passing Douglas First National Bank on our left. We love Sioux City on our right. It said on the side of the Gooseman Law Firm. Best day ever nutrition on our right. More Corbett Law Firm on our left. We're passing Pierce, Fifth and Pierce. We got Heritage Bank on our left. There's a lot of traffic, guys, so please forgive me. I'm traveling 18 miles an hour because I have drivers behind me. From afar, I see a tattoo parlor, like a radar. Like I was like a hawk. I saw that from afar. I saw it said tat. <laughs> it said T H E. I'm like, I know there's two in there somewhere. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. Transportation Center on our left. Rudy and Flora Lee celebrating community project on our left. We're passing Nebraska. We got a subway on our left. We're at Nebraska and Fifth. We got Park Avenue tattoo on our left. Jackson Street Brewing on our left. A brewing company. Cedric Tally Abstract, the Title Resource Network on our left. We're at Fifth and Jackson. Let's go up about another two or so blocks. Public parking on our right. Mercy One on our left. We have the Heart and Vascular Center on our left. Passing Jones on our right. We got Rose Crane, the Rose Crane Jackson Center building. Mercy One Medical Center, emergency room on our left. Short Staffed Inc. Staffing Services on our right. Oh, that's interesting. Short Staffed Inc. I guess they uh, help you get a job for businesses that are short staff. So you're probably like a temp. It's probably like a temp agency. Hard Life Batteries on our left. Commercial for sale. Downtown Sioux City. Historic 4th Street District. You see on my right? That was what the sign said. All right, let's make this right-hand turn. 
We're now in Virginia, 5th and Virginia. We got Max Auto Repair on my left-hand side. Look at that eagle that's on the side of Max Auto Repair. Wow, that's a nice little mural. It spans the whole entire wall, and it had an American flag at the beginning. Downtown Sioux City uh, Convention Center. There was an arrow to our right pointing. I guess that means that's parking available for the convention center. Look at this building on my left-hand side. They painted storefronts on the side of the building. So it looks like storefronts, but it's not really storefronts. I'm going to go left because it looks like there's more activity over here. On my right-hand side, we got a cinema and everything. All right, we got somebody beeping behind me. He's extra, extra, extra mad. It's an older woman. Wow, that's a shame. That's a shame. It seems like in every city, I always get angry old folks beeping at me. The young people tend to have patience. And you would think the young people would be impatient. But I've been flipped off by people twice, three times my age. <laughs> Probably not three times because I'm a whole 33 piece now. About to be 34. And if you three times my age flipping me off, 30 times three is 90. Four times three. Oh, no, you way too old to be flipping. <laughs> you over 100 years old, bro. Keep that finger yourself. All right, we got the key club in front of us. There's angle parking, so I'm going to take advantage of this angle parking so I can stay out of people's way. We got major sports bar on our right. Beth's on fourth on our right. Home decor flowers and more there's cars on my left so let me be careful when i get back into traffic antiques on historic fourth on our right there's a lot of nice little uh businesses on our right hand side you got buffalo alice on our right soho american kitchen and bar on our right we're at fourth and court look up you see how there's lights so it looks like at nighttime this intersection probably looks really beautiful look at the ground look at the Bricks they use at the intersection of the ground. There's a giant star. It's like a star design made with two different color bricks. Look down. See it? That's nice. Spirits Crafts Dining on our left. Downtown Shopping and Dining. Crewman Block on our left. Core Studio on our right. A psychological therapy building. On our left, Beer Can Alley. Sioux City. Looks like another bar. The Expansion Center on our left for Sioux Land Magazine. The Heedman or Heidman Law Firm on the right is a nice law firm. Nice building. Nice sign and everything. All right. We got Teasers Gentlemen's Club over here. Hmm. They're going to be teasing you, huh? 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 All right. Let's make a right. And I kind of want to come right back through this block because there was a theater that we didn't show enough attention to. So I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm going to be careful. There's a car coming right now. And then... As we're turning, you're going to see there's a female right there behind that notice sign. She's hitting behind the sign. You you can see her two dogs. She was walking her two dogs. A little teeny black dog and a little teeny white dog. All right. So they got the FE, F-E-H, design building right there in front of us on our right-hand side. That brick building. And AV, aesthetic surgery and laser spa. Historic 4th National Historic Registered District. The Heidman Law Firm, the Heidman Law Firm is registered in the National Historic District. It's a nice building, so I believe it. A lot of these buildings, look up on the second floor, third floor, fifth, and so on. You see all these uh, buildings? You see the details? Oh, wow, look it. This is Sioux City. Look at that mural on my right. We didn't even see that the first time. We got Soho Kitchen and Bar on our left. And then you got that mural on my right. That's a really nice mural. I'm going to try to position to it. This car's coming on my right, so let me be careful. You see? Nice mural. All right, so as you can see, we got parallel parking on my right, angle parking on my left. All right, we're at Virginia Street. This is the street that we originally entered through. We're going to continue moving forward. On our left-hand side, we got the Mart Brewing Company. I repeat, on my left-hand side, we have the Mart Brewing Company. And directly next to the Mart Brewing Company, we have a cinema. You can look up on my left. You see where it says Cinema. Cinema means it's a movie theaters. On my right, it looks like we got the Courtyard by Marriott. It's a hotel and living space. They got some old school movie posters. The Wizard of Oz on my left. Rebel Without a Cause on our left by James Dean. The original Star Wars and the original Toy Story poster. That's nice. Three hour parking anytime. So they give you three hours. That's not bad. Most downtowns just give you a two hour limit. On our right-hand side, we got the Sioux City Convention Center. Yeah, so right now, off of the back, first impressions, this is a larger city than uh, most of the ones we just recently went through. Now, it's not the largest. It doesn't have extremely tall buildings. I think the tallest thing I saw was probably like a 12-story building maybe, which isn't really tall compared to high-rises is concerned. But 
We're going all right. We got a little directory downtown. In front of us, the public museum. The historic Pearl District is in front of us. The casino. Oh, they got a casino downtown. Perry Creek's Trail. And then they got a... What do you call that? A directory. So up top, I see a father with two little girls on my left-hand side on that overpass. It looked like they were looking over. Oh, it looked like the mom might be right here in the van on my left. Yeah, she's pointing up. She has another kid. So she's down in the van with one of the kids with a little boy. And the father's up top the overpass with two of his daughters. So you got the Sioux City Community School District Educational Service Center on our right-hand side. I'm going to continue moving forward. We got a nice statue out here on my right. Check it out. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You see on my right? Kind of looks creepy. Kind of looks like like a like a creature. <laughs> Gallery 103 on our left-hand side. Open 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Open on Saturdays. You got the Cretenton Center. Helping families shine on our left. On our right, you got the Sioux City Public Museum. On our right. Oh, look at There's a buffalo. You see on my right? It's a nice... Uh, man, they put his testicle sack in all. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Detail, baby. My boy got his whole um, bag of potatoes hanging. <laughs> Yo, we're passing Nebraska. Look at my left. There's another uh, statue. We got Brightside Cafe and Deli on our right. Head Quest Eye Care on our right. Soul Mate Shoes on our right. Florals of Distinction on our right. The Central Bank Building on our left. Art Sucks Gallery on our right. S U X Sucks. Th they got the Trattoria Fresco Italian Bistro on our right and Thorpe and Company Jewelers. Check out this clock on the corner. I'm gonna pull right here just so y'all can take a look at this clock. I noticed many downtowns, not all, but many downtowns had a clock similar to that throughout their downtown. That's nice, you see it? That's decent. All right, we got Great Southern Bank on our left-hand side. Look at the crosswalk. The crosswalk has large brick tiles. We got home furniture on our right. Let's continue moving forward past Pierce. We're on 4th and Pierce. Angle parking on our right. Parallel parking on our left. Sleep Express on our right. Tempur-Pedic on our right. And World of Rugs on our right. So those are like home essential businesses. For home goods. Oh, yeah, it says it. Home Furniture. H-O-M. I guess that's how they would say home. They just spelt it without the E. Home Furniture. All right, Mid American Energy on our right hand side. We're on the 400 block of 4th Street, 4th and Douglas. Let's continue moving forward. We got some extremely rich, vibrant green grass on our right hand side. We got a yellow curb. You see the curb? It's yellow. They painted it yellow. Angle parking on our left with meters. Look up. They got the lights on, y'all. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look up, look up. You see it? You see it? They got the lights on. It, it ain't even dark yet, so y'all can't really tell. But in real life, I'm looking at it, the, the lights are on. We got the Hard Rock Hotel Casino parking on our left. We got the Bodega on our right. Bodega 401. Wow, uh, Bodega means like a corner store, poppy store. Usually in New York, they call them Bodegas. On our right, Work and Church Booze Parlor. Nice mural. The Shack on our right. World Tour Buffet on our left. Bergie's Bar on our right. Look at this is the Hard Rock entrance right here on our left. Hotel and Casino. Oh, all right. So that's the casino. When they pointed to the casino, that was the casino. Wow, there's a lot of uh, rockers over here. Let me show you this. Let me see if I can do it without anybody coming behind me with angry feet. Instead of happy feet, they got ang angry feet in America. Look at that. Bergie's Bar got a lot of uh, musicians, famous musicians. Jimi Hendrix. I think I see Tina Turner. Is that Tina Turner? <laughs> it looked like a young version of Tina Turner. And I would have said the Beatles, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we can't go left. We came from left. Hard Rock threw us off of our route. So we're going to have to figure out. We'll go straight, go left, come down two blocks, past the Hard Rock, and then continue. Albrecht Cycle. That's a bicycle shop on our right. Somebody's changing the, the letters on the Hard Rock building on our left. They got the long stick, like how you change gas prices and all that. Siouxland Mental Health Center on our right. We got a female on our right talking to somebody in a pickup truck. This is the detention center on our left. Lynn A. Hall. And I see a young person outside. Department of Corrections. I wonder if it's like a juvenile 
center or if it's like an adult police. All right, I'm gonna make this left hand turn. They got Ponca Tribe of Nebraska on our right. Ponca Tribe. Let's make this left. You got Palmer's Old Town Candy Shop on our right. Making life sweeter since 1878. Sheesh. That business has been around, baby. 1878. Making life sweeter. You mean giving people cavities since 1878. <laughs> Wiring children since 1878. All right. So on our left is 5th Street. On our right. It's 3rd Street. We got a Darcy Lynn advertisement on that digital display on my right-hand side. So Sioux City is located on an elevation of 1,201 feet. The total area that Sioux City encompasses is 59.63 square miles. The population in Sioux City as of the 2019 United States Census was 82,531 people. So a little less than 90,000 people. Oh no, if I keep going straight, will it take me away from downtown? Well, we're about to figure this out the hard way. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't think so, no, no. I'm gonna bang this left right here on Third Street. All right, cool, 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 it just continues. But right there on my right, you could get on the 29 North and 29 South, the highway basically. All right. We got the Hard Rock Cafe, the the guitar over here. Let me make sure nobody's here so I can show y'all that guitar. You see that guitar? Boom. I showed y'all the, the guitar. I risked my life to show you the guitar. Now risk your life and smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> Say, no, you ain't risking much, but yeah. Look, they got a speedboat on my right, so they went to the casino with a speedboat. Look at this bus right here. They about to go gamble too. Say, no. Nah. No, nah, um, some casinos, I don't know if all of them do, but I know some casinos, you can pay a fee and you can park there. So if you have an RV, or a trailer and you're tired and you're fatigued and you don't want to drive no more there's a casino nearby i believe they do allow you to park on premises for a fee we're at third and pearl street i guess they figure hey you can park here and you might get tempted to gamble so either way we win it's a win-win milwaukee wiener house since 1918 on our left wow wiener house passing douglas stony creek on our right that means that it's a hot dog place right hot dog house Famous Dave's Barbecue on my sharp right. You guys don't see it just yet, but hopefully. I, it looks like downtown might end within the next block to our right. If that's the case, then we'll start doing some crisscross the opposite way. We got Nebraska tags on our right, Iowa tags in front of us. Look at that sculpture on my right. That's the Sioux City Art Center. Gilcrest Learning Center. All right, we're approaching Nebraska. So the cost of living, you're probably thinking like, what does it cost to live in Sioux City, Iowa? All right, the median home cost in Sioux City is $135,200. That's cheap compared to most of America, guys. In Iowa, the state itself, the median home cost is $161,700. Sioux City is located at the navigational head of the Missouri River. Let's continue moving forward. Let's pass Nebraska. You got the Ho Chunk Center on our left. The Ho Chunk. H O Chunk. Ho Chunk. <laughs> Ho Chunk. We got a couple on my right hand side. That is probably one of the only men in a long time that I've seen walk with his woman on the appropriate side of the road. I've been to many cities, and even in Philadelphia, I pointed this out several times where there was gentlemen walking with their significant others, and they would have them on the street side. He has her on the inside. We're passing Jackson. On our right-hand side, you got the United States Post Office. A simpler-looking post office than I normally see. I know sometimes the post offices be epic. The post offices be looking like exclusive government buildings. I mean, I understand the post office is a federal thing, so it is kind of government-related, but still... All right, you got a big sign on our right. Look at that's computer graphics right there. That's not real. This CGI. See, it says Sioux City. We're on a green screen. <laughs> I'll be tripping myself out. All right, we got the cinema on our left hand side. FM and Bank on our right. 
Look at that uh, building on our left on Virginia, Third and Virginia. They painted up the whole building. We got artwork going throughout the building. Right, let's continue moving forward. Oh, that was graffiti. Oh, that was giant letters. I couldn't even. I didn't even uh, comprehend what I was looking at. I didn't notice that I passed by it that that building that was painted all around. They had some gigantic letters scaping the top to the bottom of the building, spanning, I should say. We uh, we got T and W tire on our left for sale. It looks like they might be selling the business. It says for sale. We got the state steel building on our right. We're at court, third and court. I'm gonna make this right hand turn before angry driver behind me beeps. <laughs> We got a nice big giant uh, warehouse on our left. Merchandise, storage. All right, it looks like we're coming to the outer perimeter of downtown, downtown Sioux City. So if that is the case, then allow us to start going up and down the opposite streets that we didn't get a chance to see. There's a van behind me. I'm gonna pull over right here and then I'm gonna pop a U-turn. Boom, let's pop a U-turn like we popping a pimple. Oh, let's pop a U-turn like we popping a willy. Oh, let's pop a U-turn like we... Does anybody like cherries? <laughs> Somebody's sitting in their living room and all this. It's like crickets. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Huh? Burr? Like Scooby-Doo. Burr? All right, now we're gonna start traveling the opposite way. We didn't go this way yet, so we were going up and down, now we're gonna go left and right. All right, we're at third and court. Let's continue moving forward. Look at this building on my right. Look at those arch, those archways. You see those archways? I like that, and the bricks look original. Retreading. Oh, they retread over there on my left. That Firestone tire spot, they retread, meaning that they repair tires, basically. Like, they go above and beyond. We have what looks to be like a mother walking with her two daughters. Wow, are they twins or are they a year apart? They look like they could be a year apart, but then again, they could low-key be twins. Just one's a little bigger than the other. Wow, she's blessed with two. And they kind of look like her a lot. Like, <laughs> they had her same style hair and everything. They had her face and all, just a mini version. All right, so let's keep on going up probably four or five blocks, give or take, and then turn left and then come down and crisscross, applesauce. All right, we're passing Fifth, Fifth Street. You got Robert Sissel Gallery on our right. Fine art, custom framing, and more. And there was a horse outside. Not a real horse, but a, like an artwork of a horse. Midwest Alarm System on our right. It's a security system business. We had a church on my right hand side. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So this city is home to several cultural points, including the Sioux City Public Museum, Sioux City Art Center, and the Sergeant Floyd Monument, which is a national historic landmark. So what notable people are from here, guys? I'm going to name some names, and if anybody sounds familiar, let us know. You got the Sioux Land Unity Christian Reformed Church on our left. Right across here from the other church that was on our right. I got cars behind me, so I had to speed it up, guys. Sioux Land Medical Center on our left. All right, it looks like we're getting into a residential neighborhood, so I think I'm going to turn left here. Yeah, we got homes on our right-hand side. All right, so here's some notable people from the Sioux City area. John W. Aldridge, Jim Atten, Dave Bancroft, Emmett Barrett. We're at Virginia, 7th in Virginia. Joe Bessenius, Tommy Bolin. Bread of Stone, an American contemporary Christian music and pop band <laughs> formed in 2004. Bread of Stone. That's, I guess, a creative name. You got St. Paul's Lutheran Church and School on my left-hand side. I'm going to allow this. Uh, oh, his tag said, oh, snaps. Yo, I saw your tags, bro. It says, oh, snaps. <laughs> oh, snaps. They tag said, oh, snaps. That was cool. <laughs> so, you know, if they rob a bank, you don't got to really think hard to remember the license plate. You can be, oh, snaps. 
the Sugar Shack Bakery on our right. All right. Unfortunately, we got another uh, dead end in front of us. St. Gerd, Gertrug Nurse Hall on our left. Gertrug? Gertrug? Gertrude. Gertrude? It was a nursing hall. All right, I guess let's go left. It seems like we're getting um, caught up into the residential neighborhood instead of downtown. And I'm going to make this left-hand turn. We're going to keep zigzagging back that way. There's a little squirrel on my right-hand side. Ah, oh, he went ahead. He playing hide-and-go-seek. I won't play hide-and-go-seek right now, buddy. Sally Brent, Mildred Brown, MacDonald Carey, Paul B. Carpenter. Matt Chatham, Eli Chesson, or Cheeson, Robert Clements. All right. Let's see. Let's make a right, man. Yeah, the streets are kind of rough over here, guys. The streets in Iowa, they're kind of rough. Coming right off the highway, it was like... Just like this. Yo, the tags on my left is upside down. <laughs> I noticed that. None of y'all would have never noticed that. Don't be lying. Don't be like, yeah, Tuna. I, I saw it before you saw it. I saw the tags was upside down. <laughs> We're at Nathan Jones. All right, so let's continue. Let's get back to the downtown area. I feel like we're, like, way off of downtown. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit in the street, y'all. There's a bunny rabbit right here in the middle of the street. Crikey, mate. Let me see if I can take a picture. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at the little bunny rabbit. Bro, you ain't yo, you ain't afraid of cars? Yo, he gangster. He's not afraid of this vehicle. He said, I'm not going nowhere. You ain't um my hood, son. Look at him. Look at him. I got a nice picture of you. I'm going to go around him because this is his turf. Yo, bro, I was about to go around you. What you doing? <laughs> yo, he big. Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. See, I couldn't live around rabbits because then I'll start collecting them. <laughs> I'll be collecting rabbits. The Women's Health Care Center on our left. Uh, let's continue moving forward. Ouch. All right, we're at 11th Street. Let's make this right-hand turn down 11th Street. See if we can get back to downtown. Downtown was 5th Street, 6th Street, 7th Street. So let's make this right-hand turn. St. Thomas Orthodox Church on our left-hand side. Oh, that's that uh, church school right here. Let me make a right so y'all can see what I was talking about when, when I was driving by. See, this is a school. And they bought that, John. Yo, that church get money. That church get money. Because I promise you that this property wasn't cheap. Look at the property in the back. Look at the backyard. That was a schoolyard. That church get money. Somehow, some way. To be explained on another episode of The Twilight Zone. It's like, bro, you a church. How you get so much money to buy that, yo? Like, I'm sure that was like a cool million dollars. Seriously, a cool million. At least. We're at 10th and Jennings. And then it's right around the corner from downtown. That building on the right's nice. Looks like they're doing some uh, construction work on the inside. Yeah, man. Like, that's no joke. Uh, I wish I could buy a band in school. Like, a, that size? What? Community house on our left. Their 100th year. They're celebrating the 100th year. Nelson Burger, Heaton, Rutledge, Ghost Rudd. What's that on our left? A funeral home. Oh, snap. There's a park over here. I might as well just go left to show you this park. We're about to get back to the downtown area. Downtown area is on my right, but I just want to show you all this park. Might as well. See, there's a park on my right-hand side. Ouch, ouch. All right, we're at 9th in Virginia. Sioux Parks and Recreation Program. They got a uh, volleyball. That's all they got? They don't have a basketball court? Bro, that's all they got is volleyball courts? Two volleyball courts. 
Volleyball just better be that popular. They ain't got no basketball courts. Not that I play basketball, but still. <laughs> a park without a basketball court. Is it really a park? We're at ninth and court. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. There's a dead end in front of us. Mary Elizabeth Day Nursery on our left. Child care and preschool. So is Sioux City a nice place to live? Well, based on www.google.com, before we get into that, look, at this is a deaf child area. On my right-hand side, we have a sign that reads deaf child area. Google reads, Sioux City is a very nice town. There are a lot of good food options and places to hang out. There are some areas with poor traffic signs. Residents in Sioux City have grown to accept mediocrity. <laughs> That's messed up, Google. House of Cakes. Oh, Bastaleria. Bastaleria on our left. House of Cakes, right? That's messed up. Google put, put y'all on blast. <laughs> it said residents here have learned to accept mediocrity. That's messed up, man. Siouxland Unity Christian Reformed Church on our right. Let's continue moving forward. Yeah, let's get back towards this this way. Because what threw us off was the uh, hard rock. Oh, this is that horse earlier that we passed that I didn't get a chance to show y'all. I might as well just show y'all now because we're right next to it. Look it. Matter of fact, I might as well even snap a picture because I'm like, I'm going through this extra length of being here. I might as well just capture a picture for the Toon Be Chillin' Instagram. Nice. Got it. Century 2 Apartments on our right-hand side. And right, I'm going to make a right on... No, I can't do it on 5th. I got to do it on the next block. Yeah, I'm going to go more towards the center again, and then we can crisscross some block. Because when we got over here, we got thrown off into the residential neighborhood. Let's wait at this light. All right. We just passed Fifth Street. I got a truck behind me. I'm going to pull over because he's on my tail, baby. You're on my tail, bro. I don't drive like that. Like, not even when I'm not touring. When I'm not touring, I don't tell anyone. All right, let's make this right-hand turn. We already went through this block. You remember, remember? We already went through this block. This is the block that had the... The, uh, what you call that? The theater? The cinema? So what movies were shot in Iowa? What big box office films were shot in Iowa? Let's talk about that shortly. Let's make this right hand turn. Now we're going to try to get some of these cross blocks if possible. Wow, this is an uphill. We're going up. Max Auto Repair on our right. So I'm going to go up like two blocks and I'm going to make a left and try to come down and then, and you know, go back and forth. Car Life Battery. They spelled it K-A-R. That's creative. Car Life Battery. I guess they sell batteries, right? <laughs> All right, we're going uphill. Wow. All right. You ready for some of these movies? Field of Dreams. Never really heard of it. Children of the Corn. You already know. We already know about that. I remember that. You remember, remember? Bridges of Madison County. I don't really remember that. Twister. Yeah, remember Twister? Moo. Or I should say, man. <laughs> when the cow was spinning in the Twister. Yeah, that's a classic. Twister. That was shot here? Ah, that's interesting. The Crazies. Oh, snap. Oh, the Crazies. That came out like... Let with within the last 10 15 years, it's a horror movie. The crazy, yeah, 2010. The crazies, yeah, that's dope. Uh, cold turkey, no, nah, never heard of that. Starman, sugar, one foot in heaven, Michael, miles from home. Let's make this left. Hostage, 16 to life, the final season, and Buffalo Bill. Now, what movies take place here? Bonnie and Clyde. The Fighting Sullivans. And yeah, some of the other same names. Field of Dreams and, and Michael and so on. Michael was shot in 
Rural, Iowa. Michael. What a name to name a movie. Michael. But I did know about two or three of those names, so that's cool. All right, let's continue moving forward. We're going under this emergency uh, overpass for the hospital. This street's crooked. This street's slanted. Like, we're leaning to our left. Not only are we leaning to our left, but we're going downhill, too. Yeah, we're going downhill. Pew! Too fast. Too furious. We're passing Jackson. Oh, there was a dog taking a doo-doo. Oh, pee pee. I think she was taking a pee pee because she was squatting on our left in the little doggy park. We're passing Nebraska. We got the warrior on our right. We got council on our left. We put technology in its place. Oh, do you? Hmm. Look at that giant clock. That's on top of the city hall, right? I think that's the city hall because I remember I thought it was a church. Security National Bank on our right. Oh, the library on the left. All right, so we went through here. So this is familiar territory. Bet. So let's make this right and go up Douglas. There you go. There you go. Now we're back in downtown. I'm sorry for the little, for the little, uh, you know, tangent. We went off to a different area. Let's make this right right here in front of the police station. That's cool. So famous Iowans. A partial list of people who were born in and make Iowa proud. So we got more famous Iowans. John Witzel, director and producer. Sean Witzel, writer and producer. Let's make this right. We can make it right. There's no sign telling us otherwise. Christopher Witzel, another writer. Yo, they all must be family. <laughs> One of them got on and they brought their brothers on. Andy Williams, an entertainer. Greg Allen Williams, an actor. Meredith Wilson, a composer. Elijah Wood. Oh, snap, look at this, Justice. Yo, this building right here is epic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's, there's no cars behind me, right? No, no, there's no cars behind me. I'm going to show you all the front of this building. You see the front of this building? You see that? Wow, look at that. Now I got to go because there's a car behind me. See that, though? Justice, peace, and so on. That must be like a court. Yeah, that must be like a court building. Usually when it says justice and all that stuff, it's a court. Yo, so Elijah Wood is from here? Elijah Wood's the dude who played the Hobbit in... um. In Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Woodbury County. Law enforcement on our right. And in Sin City, he also played the creepy guy. In the movie Sin City with Bruce Willis. It was like a comic book, comic book movie. All right, let's go up three blocks, then make a right. On our left, we got Center for Siouxland. And across the street, we got the Scottish Rite Masonic Temple. I've been seeing a lot of Scottish Rite Masonic Temples lately. Lately. Woodbury County Building Services on our right. We have Trasper Hoyt County Services Building on our right. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. Iglesia Nueva Vida on our left. Church New Life on our left. That's what Nueva Vida means. Listen, I might not be the best Spanish speaker ever, but if I know what I'm saying, I know what it means, I'm going to tell you what it means so you can learn a little something. Nueva, new. Vida, life. Let's make this right. All right, we're at 9th and Pierce. All right, now we're going to see something we didn't see. There's a theater on my left-hand side, so I'm going to coast on the left side so y'all can see this theater. It's one of those nice, classic-looking theaters. Andy Williams, or Elijah Wood, Grant Wood. Yeah, so far it seemed like Elijah Wood was the was was the most n known one that I know. So, do any citizens still live here? People who not only are, are from here or just in general, like famous people. Do any famous people still reside in Iowa? We got Pioneer Bank on our right. <clears throat> I got a bunch of cars behind me, guys. This is a normal uh, traffic speed street, so I got so I can't be creeping. Look at this is the theater on my left hand side with all the little lights. It's nice. Check out the theater on my left hand side at Six and Pierce. They just had a Seinfeld advertisement or Seinfeld, <laughs> Bonnie Rat or Bonnie Rate. They're playing something. Look at Harry Potter. Speaking of Harry Potter, up top. Look at. There's a sheriff on my right-hand side. 
We're passing fifth. Innovation market. Grand prize, $5,000. Submit your idea. Sure. Gamers, buy, sell, trade games. Mother. Sure. Submit your, your million-dollar idea, and we'll pay you $5,000. So you can go buy yourself a hoopty. <laughs> what am I going to do with $5,000, man? I mean, $5,000 is good, but come on, for an idea? Yo, you know what's crazy? That's the story behind the Nike logo. Um, how much was the Nike logo sold for? Because I remember learning this in art class. $35. A graphic design student created, I think it was a female. She designed that check. She sold it for $35. You'd be lucky to get a pair of $35 Nikes right now. She sold that logo for $35, and now it's a billion dollar, probably trillion dollar corporation. Let's go straight. Let's go one more block forward, passing 3rd Street. That goes to show you. So they'll buy the idea for dirt, dirt cheap. Look, at this is a, a art center on our left. They got a lot of artwork outside. That looks cool. Famous Dave's on our right, the barbecue joint. I'm going to go left here. This car's behind me flying. I'm just going to go left here so we can take a look at this little art gallery because they got some art pieces outside. So I'm giving you guys like a free virtual tour <laughs> through the art gallery. Look at, look at, or the external portion of the art gallery. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. There's art right there on my right in front of us. This one right here looks like a stencil of a dress, a woman's dress, a sundress with polka dots. This white one right in front of us. Look at Gilcrest Learning Center. So they probably teach like art classes or something of that nature. $5,000 for my idea. What you talking about, Willis? I want $5,000 a month annually for the rest of my life. Say nothing. <laughs> That's the only way that I'm accepting $5,000. Listen, I'll sell you my idea. I want $5,000 per month times 12 months until I'm RIP. That's it. They're like, well... We can have that uh, taken care of. <laughs> we can have that taken care of. <laughs> They're going to pay me one month, and then somehow, magically, my brakes went out the following. <laughs> After the first $5,000 payment, his brakes went out. Dang it. And he just created the new multi-billion dollar brand. Look at our left. Sioux City Art Center. 25 years. Man, I got a lot of ideas, but the thing is, is how to get them jump started. Like, I got inventions and things in my head. I got, like, a good, to be honest, not to over-exaggerate, four to seven rough ideas that I think are pretty cool ideas. But, you know, you need capital. You, first of all, you need a patent. You need a patent stuff. You need a, you know, a, a trademark, patent, license, co copyright. Do whatever you can to, to get your idea um, certified so they know that you were the one who created it. And then you got to reach out to entities and billionaires and investors, you know, not Shark Tank, but investors to see if anybody wants to throw money at your idea, you, you know? And then if they're investing it, investing it, they're going to want a nice portion because they're putting up the main money, you know? So it's a lot of stuff that goes into the inventions. We're passing 4th Street, Brightside Cafe in Delhi. There's a Sioux City Public Museum on our right. This big building on our right. There's a Sioux City Public Museum. Sioux, Land, Coin, and Julie on our left. We're at Fifth in Nebraska. Rudy and Flora Lee Community Learning Center on our left. Martin Luther King Jr. Transportation Center on our left. There's big artwork on our left. You seen that big sculpture? Passing 6th Street. First Presbyterian Church on our right. All right, I'm going to make a right. I'm going to merge right. Oh, let's go up this hill. This hill looks treacherous. Reminds me of uh, San Francisco. Yeah, this is definitely a steep hill. This is probably like a... I got a downshift. I got to go on first. This is like a... Like a 12% grade. I'm just guessing. I don't have no facts. But I'm assuming this is like a 12% grade. Because it's steep. Not super steep, but it's steep. And it's crappy roads. Like, there's crappy roads. Bumpy. Like, how you drive on this bumpiness? There's a helicopter on my right-hand side. Can I make it right here? I think so. Mercy One Siouxland Medical Center helicopter. That must be for like the triage and all that stuff. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna continue moving forward. Forward. I'm going to shift the second gear. All right, let's stop here. We got a yellow light. <clears throat> What is the richest county in Iowa? The richest county is called Dallas. Number two, Dickinson. Number three, Polk, P-O-L-K. Number four, Warren. The richest, what makes them the richest? Number one, per capita income, $33,051. That's what they consider the richest. $33,000. Mm -mm -mm. Let's pass 6th Street. I mean, that's a livable income. <laughs> you can live on it. You know, you can live a basic lifestyle. Passing Cedric Tally Abstract. We're passing Fifth Street. Wow, I was in the turning lane. Let me continue moving forward. Yeah, but um, yeah, that is incredible. Sioux City Hotel and Conference Center on our left. It looks abandoned. Artwork on our right. You see it outside? Sculptures. Look at that building on my right. Look at the detail on the first and second floor. Look at the face. Look at all the engravings. The bad, let me see. Badgero. Badgero. I was going to say bag. Badgero building on our right. The first and second floor, epic detail on that stone. It's like it's engraved and it's carved out. You got the Stifle Nicholas Investment Service building on our left. Heritage parking on our left. It's a parking lot. Let's make this right on 3rd Street. Let's make this right hand turn on third. Yo, they fixing the ATM. Come on, let's jump out and get homie. <laughs> jump out and hit him with the us, 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 us. He was fixing the Wells Fargo machine. All right, let's make this right hand turn on Nebraska. So what's the crime like here, huh? What's the crime like in Sioux City? In Sioux City, Iowa, you have a 1 in 174 chance of becoming a victim of violent crime. Man, you got pretty good odds walking around here. That's some of the best odds I think I've ever read in my life. <laughs> Since I've been reporting on like one out of whatever chances, that's damn near the best one. One out of 107. So supposedly, supposedly, remember, quote unquote, supposedly. If you have 174 people walking around town, one of them's gonna get beat up in some in some sort of violent attack, crime, or whatever. You know what I mean? Supposedly, based on crime stats. Let's make this left over here on Sixth Street. Yeah, some of these cars travel too fast for my taste, man. I just be trying to chill, and they just be trying to be NASCAR racing. You guys got to go to Alabama, to Talladega, the Talladega Knights. Join Will Farrell on the NASCAR track. Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> Rooted boutique on my right. Violent crimes include murder, rape, robbery, and assault. With regards to property crime, you have a 1 in 31 chance of becoming a victim. All right, so, it's, so you have more of a chance of your house getting broken into than you actually physically getting attacked. That's basically what that's telling me. We're passing Pierce. Because it's a 1 in 31 chance of having property crime done versus 174 chance of violent crime. Victim of violent crime. Let's make this left here. I don't feel like we went left on Douglas. I feel like we went right, but we never went left. Can I make a left here? Let's see if that's possible. Uh, it looks like, yep, it is a two-way. Look at that building on my right. You see, I don't think we went through here. And property crimes include burglary, theft, and motor vehicle theft. Oh, snap. So they probably be stealing whips. Probably be stealing cars over here. Remember that license plate? Oh, snaps. <laughs> and I just said, oh, snaps. They probably, that's probably why they got that license plate done. That's probably like, oh, snaps. Crime rate is high here. I already bought the house. Damn it. Now I'm stuck in a 30-year mortgage. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Mid-American energy. But if any of you out there in America are stuck in a mortgage, remember, you can sell off your mortgage. So if you want to relocate, you don't have to stay stuck where you're at. You can always just sell the mortgage to another, you know, young couple or somebody out there that, you know, wants to move to where you're at. 
You know what they say. They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. There's people moving out of every single state in America. And there's people moving into every single state in America. Don't forget that. Let's make this right on Pearl. This is the parking lot and the garage for the Hard Rock. Oh, snap. We just straight up drove to the Hard Rock property. All right. Let's pretend like we're going to go gamble. <laughs> Let's make this right. See if there's an exit over here somewhere. Let's make this left hand turn. Let's go to the end of the road. Let's be normal uh, motorists and not just cut through parking slots. So areavibes.com rates Sioux City. It provides an F rating. Yep. Gives it an F rating. Let's go around this way. I don't want to go right. I want to go around this way because I like that block. It has the lights. Total crime is 63% above the national average here. Violent crimes in Sioux City are 49% higher than the national average. In Sioux City, you have a 1 in 27 chance of becoming a victim of crime. See, that's three different uh, uh, ratios, <laughs> three, three different mathematical equations there on you know, how you, the viewer, can become a victim of crime. Sioux City is safer than 12% of the cities in the United States. Year over year, Sioux City crime has decreased by 12%. Mmm... So crime has decreased. That's the bodega on our left. There's the lights up top. I don't know if y'all can see them lit up. Bow hunter on our left. Indoor arch archery, lanes, and pro shop. There's a little boutique. Evolve wellness, too. Wellness usually refers to... Oh, okay, yoga therapy there. Normally, pearls, wine, and booze on our left, and, and earls. Normally, wellness refers to some sort of uh, Delta 8. D9, things of that nature, edibles, stuff like that. But in this case, they're talking about yoga and fitness. We're passing 5th Street. We got... Engelson Abstract Company on our left. Denny Wild Styling Shop. It looks like a barber shop. Yep, Denny Wild's Barber Styling Shop. So what's the imp <clears throat> the unemployment rate like here as far as like jobs and whatnot? The income per capita in Sioux City is 21% lower than the national average. We're passing 6th Street, 6 and Pearl. We got Head Rush Salon on our left. Maya Modification, the Brass Rail on our left. On our right, we got a nice uh, park. Look at this park on our right-hand side. Really nice little park. Launch pad, Children's Museum on our left. Ooh, they got a cow there. They got a cow. Man. <laughs> we got a cop right here on our left-hand side, too. Yo, they got a really nice-looking museum over here. It looks child-friendly. Oh, the cop's about to make a U-turn. All right. He, he made a turn, but he went into the parking lot. Let me keep my eye on him. <laughs> My boy made a turn. The median household income in Sioux City is 17% 17, 17 lower than the national average. Oh, they got a nice little rear uh, rear uh, display over here. Look at this. So this is a children's museum. This is a nice children's museum. I don't have any kids, but if I did, I'd probably bring them here. Look at that. Male median earnings are 41% higher than female median earnings. The unemployment rate in Sioux City is 18% lower than the national average. The poverty level in Sioux City is 1% lower than the national average. Colorful, colorful, colorful. Reminds me of Nickelodeon. All those colors, they definitely reminded me of Nickelodeon. Look, at they just knocked down a building over there. Overall, I mean, this seems like a cool little city. It looks like they got some... I don't know if it's just me. Maybe that, that's just my mind messing with me because I know I'm getting closer to the east. But it feels, even though it's not in the east, in, in the east wholeheartedly, it's in more in like the you know, central time zone. But I feel more like it's more of like an eastern city, a little denser, more ambience. Even though there's barely anybody out, I don't know. I just feel the energy. Or that could just be my mind messing with me. <laughs> Tint masters on our left. 
They're masters at tinting your vehicle. There's a gospel mission thrift store across this big street. 